Lisa, welcome back to another recipe video. Today I'll be sharing four of my favorite muffin recipes with you. I'd originally scheduled this video before the coronavirus started to get pretty bad where we had to self-quarantine, things closing down, and people just hoarding food water bottles and toilet paper. I thought that'd still be a good time to post this recipe video anyways, just because muffins are made with mostly pantry staple ingredients aside from the fresh fruit. But to be honest, my grocery stores, in terms of fresh produce, is pretty stocked up and you can always use frozen fruit if you have that on hand. So I don't mean to make this intro too long, but I hope you guys are doing well and staying as positive as you can in the circumstances that we're in. And if there's anything I could possibly do for you, send me a DM on Instagram. I'd love to talk to you guys. And I do hope you guys get a chance to make these muffins and they put a smile on your face or something because they're pretty good. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the recipes. First up, we're gonna make these healthy blueberry oatmeal muffins. We're gonna start by dusting some tapioca starch or flour onto the blueberries so that the blueberries don't sink to the bottom of the muffins. Next, into a larger bowl, combine the non-dairy milk, apple cider vinegar, coconut sugar, and vanilla, and then whisk it together. Then add in the flax egg and mix. Add in the oat flour, almond flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and tapioca starch, and mix until a batter forms. And then fold in the blueberries. Divide them into six muffin tins and then top them off with more blueberries. Bake them at 325 Fahrenheit for five minutes and then drop down the temperature to 350 Fahrenheit and then bake them for another 13 to 14 minutes or until they're fully cooked. To check your muffins for doneness, just stick a toothpick into the center of the muffins and it should come out clean or with a few cooked crumbs on it. And if it has wet batter on it, just bake it for another minute or two. These muffins come out super moist and super fluffy and I just love the flavor you get from the almond flour and the blueberries together. I think this one was my boyfriend's favorite. Next up, we're making lemon poppy seed muffins. First into a bowl, add in the vegan buttermilk, lemon juice, coconut sugar, vanilla, and lemon zest and whisk it to combine. Then add in the oat flour, almond flour, tapioca starch, poppy seeds, baking soda, baking powder, and salt and then mix until a batter forms. Divide the batter into six muffin tins and then bake it at 425 Fahrenheit for five minutes and then at 350 Fahrenheit for another 18 to 20 minutes. Let the muffins cool in the pan for two to three minutes and then remove them from the pan and onto a cooling rack. You don't want to keep the muffins in the pan to cool or else you end up with really soggy muffins. While I wait for the muffins to cool, I made a quick glaze with some vegan powdered sugar, lemon juice and maple syrup and then drizzled it on top. My taste tester said that these muffins taste like something you would get at Starbucks, like a cake or something. So they're kind of like a healthy dessert. These are definitely my current favorite muffins and I think that they're perfect for spring too. The third muffin recipe we're going to make are these carrot cake muffins. First into a bowl, mash one large banana. And then add in the flax egg, non-dairy milk, coconut sugar, apple cider vinegar, vanilla and the spices and then whisk it to combine. Then add in the spell flour, almond flour, tapioca starch, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and then mix until just combined. You should still see some flour in the batter. Then add in the shredded carrots, chopped walnuts, raisins, and then fold it in. This finishes off mixing the batter without overmixing. Once that's done, fill the muffin tins all the way to the top. I know a lot of recipes say to fill muffin tins three-fourths of the way to have a little room at the top, but I'm a little aggressive with my filling and I like to fill them right to the top so I get a really high, tall, fluffy muffin. Again, bake them at 425 Fahrenheit for five minutes and then drop the temperature down to 350 Fahrenheit and then bake them for another 20 minutes or until cooked all the way through. These muffins are super hearty and filling and you can totally make them into a dessert by adding on some cashew frosting or some coconut whipped cream on top. Oh, and by the way, all these muffins are really great for meal prep and they're freezer friendly too. And next up, we're going to make these chocolate green smoothie muffins. First, add your ripe bananas to a blender along with some plant-based milk, vanilla, any runny nut butter or seed butter of your choice. I think I used tahini here, coconut sugar, and a big handful of spinach. And then just blend that up like you would a smoothie. Pour that into a large mixing bowl and then add in the oat flour, almond flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, baking powder, and salt, and then fold it into the wet ingredients using a spatula. Mm -hmm. 
Once that's all mixed up, divide the batter into nine muffin tins. And then this is optional, but I also topped it off with some chocolate for more chocolate goodness. Bake these in the oven at 425 Fahrenheit for four minutes, and then at 350 Fahrenheit for another 19 to 20 minutes. These muffins are so, so good. Like they're kind of fudgy, especially straight out of the oven warm, but also kind of fluffy and cakey. I don't know, the texture is just really nice and you can't taste the spinach in them at all. And you can even swap it out with some kale instead if you have that on hand. And the last recipe we're going to be making are my blender banana muffins. So first add the bananas, non-dairy milk, nut butter, apple cider vinegar, coconut sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, and salt into a blender and then blend until smooth. Then add in the oatmeal, baking powder, and baking soda and then blend it until a batter forms. Fill the muffin tins and if you want you can also sprinkle on some oats or walnuts on top. Bake the muffins at 425 Fahrenheit for 6 minutes and then bake it at 350 Fahrenheit for 14 to 15 minutes. So the reason why we bake them at a high temperature first is because when the muffins go into the oven, the high temperature reacts with the baking powder and baking soda and then it gives it a burst and that kind of lifts the batter up really quickly. You also don't want to let them bake at a high temperature for long or else the tops will burn which is why you want to bring down the temperature and then let them finish baking. These banana blender muffins come out super moist and fluffy and taste like my favorite banana bread. You can switch it up by mixing in some chocolate chips or nuts in them too. I think this recipe is just a super great staple muffin to keep in your back pocket so that when you're feeling lazy and you just want some muffins, you can make some blender muffins. So those are all the muffin recipes I have for you guys today. I hope you try them out and love them as much as I do. I highly recommend the blueberry muffins and the lemon poppy seed ones. They're my favorite. Um, but yeah. yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stick around for more content like this. I'm gonna say this again, but stay healthy and stay as positive as you can. Keep yourself busy. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great rest of the day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.